who wants to talk recovery? I do. Let's talk about recovery. There's a woman out there with YouTube videos that claims to be on a recovery journey. Her name is Nikki Plowd or Plowd or something like that. And I hear a lot of using glorification. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't listen for very long because it's bullshit. Right? That is not recovery. Talking about how much we use, what we use, who we use with, where we use is about addiction. Right? Um, and so talking about recovery is talking about what you're doing today to stay clean. What you're doing today to have a happy life. What are you doing today to make other people's life easier and to show them some joy and some happiness? Um, what are you doing to get out of yourself? Right? Um, I spent a lot of years not doing that. I spent a lot of years trying to change everything from the outside in. And I spent 15 years in clean trying to do that, but not in recovery. I, uh, I was one of those mean people. I was angry. And I didn't care about you, and I didn't care about your feelings. And honestly, I didn't want to live. And uh, so that 15 years was miserable for me, and it was miserable for those around me. I hurt a lot of people and I did a lot of damage in so-called recovery. So, as a result, I got loaded again. Before I got loaded again, I tried to take my own life. I hated who I was. I hated who you were. I hated the word God, religion, spirituality, anything good. I didn't want to hear it. And... Uh, Even waking up with a ventilator being pulled from me wasn't enough to stop me from going back on that pathway of using. And uh, I caused even more damage, even greater damage. My recovery journey really began on March 11, 2016, when I not only stopped using but I surrendered. I surrendered to something greater than myself. A higher power, you'll call it. The doorknob of the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous or Alcoholics Anonymous. The doorknob to my fellow recovering addicts. Home. Their cars. A bench somewhere where we could just talk. It began when I started changing everything from the inside so that everything outside of me looked beautiful. That's my journey that I started for recovery. It pisses me off when I hear people claiming that they're doing a recovery journey and all they're doing is glorifying their usage. So, stop talking about that shit. Nobody gives a fuck. What are you doing to help others? Do you give that last dime in your pocket so that somebody can have food on their table? Do you answer your phone at 2 o'clock in the morning and spend three hours before you need to go to work just listening to somebody that needs you to be there for them? Well, that's what they've done for me. And that's what I do. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. I just have to be happy. Today, I choose happiness. This is my new home away from home. This is where I go 
for my recovery. This is where my people are. In any other room of Alcoholics Anonymous or Narcotics Anonymous that I attend. Now, they say that we should be anonymous. And maybe I should be, but I'm not going to be. And if somebody has a problem with that, then I encourage you to call your sponsor if you have one. To get to your knees and beg your God to teach you how not to give a fuck about what I'm doing or about what anybody else is doing. I'll be back, I'm sure. But for right now, I want to encourage you to stop listening to people that are claiming that they're doing something that they're not doing. Talk to you guys soon.